All right, folks, let's talk about Zeno of Elia's arguments against motion. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. So to begin, Zeno gives several arguments against motion, but we are going to focus upon what is called the dichotomy argument. And the dichotomy argument has its basis in mathematics. More specifically, upon the geometric principle that a line has an infinite number of points. So with this in mind, let's review his illustration. So Zeno says, let's assume that a man wants to walk to the local garden. And let's further assume that it's 30 feet away. So in order for the man to get to the garden, he would have to traverse 30 feet of distance. Now, before he can traverse the 30 feet, he would first have to get halfway there, right? So he would first have to traverse 15 feet. But in order to get to 15 feet, he would have to travel halfway there, 7.5 feet. And for, in order for him to get to 7.5 feet, he would need to traverse first 3.75 feet. Now, one thing to keep in mind at this point, and I think that you all probably see kind of where he's going with this, is that a line has an infinite number of points. So in order for him to even get to the 3.75 feet, he would need to traverse an infinite number of points. So in other words, if the man wants to get from point A to point B, he would first need to traverse an infinite number of steps. And that is impossible. Right? There is no way someone could traverse an infinite number of points to get to a destination. So the person will always be stuck at point A and will never ever arrive at their destination at point B. Why? Because again, the man would have to walk an infinite number of points, and that is impossible. So let's review Zeno's overall argument. According to geometry, a line has an infinite number of points. For a man to walk from point A to point B, he would have to traverse an infinite number of points. But it is impossible for a man to traverse an infinite number of points. Therefore, the man will never reach point B. Therefore, the man is motionless, always in a static state. So from this conclusion, Zeno can further argue that nothing in the universe is in motion, because nothing in the universe could ever reach point B. So even if an archer were to shoot an arrow at a target, according to the rules of geometry, the arrow would never reach its destination, because motion, mathematically speaking, is an illusion. Convinced? Let me know.